Do you want to try the axle itself? Because we have done all these drills. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, go ahead. I mean, uh, what do you feel like you want to do? Do you want to do the landing forward and then getting onto the back outside first a few times and then try the axle? Yeah, yeah, you see you're turning less on the takeoff, but you're still forcing the turn a little bit more than necessary. So if you can just have faith that jumping off that leaning edge is, is going to give you automatic rotation and then see how far it takes you. Yeah, there you go. Nice, that's progress. And, and also, when you let, let it turn rather than making it turn, you jumped higher too. That had pretty good height, that jump. Because when you're trying to turn, uh, you, you kind of like lose your balance and you skid and you don't get an efficient uh, springing action on the takeoff. So yeah, that was exactly the, the takeoff that you need to do your axle because you do need a certain amount of height to have the time to get around. So do you want to try to do it, see if you can repeat that? Yeah, this is getting more like the idea. That didn't go quite as high as the last one, but, but you let the rotation happen instead of making it happen. So your uh, takeoff edge or in this case a little bit of a skid it was it was it was not really uh, disruptive to your balance so you should probably do that over and over again just that and 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 to get confidence with just that good takeoff yeah and then getting on to the back outside landing edge right away so Good, you're getting closer to your axle. I mean, uh, do you want to try, see if you can get even more closer or, uh, yeah, so uh, I don't know if you can get a little farther around or get into the landing position a little sooner after you land. Yeah, so getting right onto that landing position. So. Yeah, so many skaters do a waltz jump into a loop jump as a preparation for an axle, and I think that's probably a good idea. Yeah, you're uh, coming back down to earth in the middle of the, your axle, basically, so cutting it into two pieces, but there are certain skills that you learn from doing that that will benefit your axle. Uh, so can you do a waltz jump, loop jump, Kaz? Have you done that before? Do you want to warm up just your loop jump by itself first? Yeah. Can I do it on the wall first? Yeah, whatever you do to warm up for your loop jump. Okay, I think I can do it. Yeah. I can't do the loop. Yeah, so you want to get a deep enough back outside edge uh, for your loop jump. Nice deep edge. That's right. Ah, okay. Yeah. Deep edge and then launch it up into the air. Nice deep edge. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Good. Very good. Scary. To do a waltz jump, loop jump, but I don't know if you're ready for that. You might want to practice your loop jump more until you get really good with your loop jump. Well, I can do it. Before you do the waltz, okay. Ah, okay, good, nice, you did it. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> so, okay. uh, as part of this exercise, you want to go up in your waltz jump and then land in the loop takeoff position which was which is it which is a backspin position basically mm. to take off on a loop jump you're going to have your free leg crossed in front and on a backspin you're on a fairly shallow edge but for a loop jump takeoff you're on a deeper edge so you want to try to land your waltz jump right in that position there ready to go up into the loop jump and and the benefit of this is that you're you're 
going right into that backspin position in preparation for the landing of the waltz jump. Can you show your example? Show my example. Yeah, jump well, I don't know, with my back the way it is, I'd rather not jump today. Yeah, that's a go. That, there you go. Good. Yeah, that's it. So if you add that to the drills that you practice in preparation for your axle, that's definitely not going to hurt you. That's a good one. Uh, good, so I think we have, have made enough progress today and hopefully uh, the audience will appreciate that those fundamentals uh, that we trained can really help give you a better chance of success at the jump. Rather than just being impatient and going out and trying the axle without the proper foundation of skills is go you're going to get into bad habits i mean maybe you'll figure out after repetitions how to do it the axle by trial and error but you're going to put more wear and tear on your body and you're going to get into bad habits and you're going to create a, uh, an axle that's not not as beautiful so i would really encourage skaters and coaches and parents to be patient in learning achievement of the axle jump so that you have a good foundation you know I <clears throat> I got into bad habits myself on many many of my jumps and I've tried to refine them over the years well I learned the axle with a skid for example and then I learned to do it without a skid but it's it's way more difficult to uh, unlearn than it is to learn so one step at a time, crawl before you walk, walk before you run, and get yourself a really good, beautiful axle by using good figure skating fundamentals. Good luck with that. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this video and you feel you got something out of it and you want to uh, get some notifications about my future, teaching videos, don't forget to subscribe. Do it now. See you soon.